Hi, SuperSpirits here, back when I answer every mention some new game minus four video, episode 13, and it's been like a week, two weeks since last episode because I've sort of been getting ahead and the upload rate has dropped and there's just a lot of series going on right now. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna hold M. I'm actually gonna do one more run just because this is up to a 300 times multiplier, which is about 100 times more than it usually is. So. I know I said I was going to do the challenges, but just one run here. Maybe if I, I'm, I'm not sure how far I'm going to be able to get. I actually, I'm really, I'm really curious to see how far I can actually get with this. I, I feel like I can get very far, especially with like time dimension shifts as well. So there's regular dimension shifts. Um, I think I can get up to five time dimension shifts, maybe even six time dimension shifts. I, I forgot if... I forgot if I can actually do do that without resetting the other dimension shifts. Okay, I, I can do that without resetting the other dimension shifts. So, it looks like I can probably get 38th dimensions, which allows me to get the tick speed boost and then um, a dimension boost and a time dimension boost. Actually, it's not really going to do as much as I thought it might. So, uh, yeah, it's, 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 still gonna, it's still pretty fast, but... I thought I was going to be able to, I mean, I know it's possible to get 40, 40 or even 50 8th dimensions, but it, there's just, some, I just sort of hit a wall here. So, yeah, I'm just going to Galactic Sacrifice for 46 Galaxy Points and then get on with the challenges. So, these should be super easy. Um, the first one I'm going to do is Challenge 3, which is the first dimension is heavily weakened, but gets an exponent, exponentially increasing bonus that resets on reset. So... Um, yeah, I will Galactic Sacrifice without gaining anything when I start the challenge, and it should be a super easy challenge. Um, the, the, the only thing that will make it slow is just the first dimension won't really do all that much. So that actually, that does slow down the game. Actually, it's because I have no tick speed upgrades, that's why. I just honestly just hold M instead of doing what I was doing before, because even though it's buying all those useless time dimension stuff, it, it's still better than... than not getting any tick speed upgrades from the time dimensions. And all I'm going to need is one galaxy and then just get back up to where I can get one galaxy. And that'll be a challenge completion. So yeah, these challenges should be very easy to complete. This this one's one of the easiest though. Maybe I should try to do um, challenge number four next because that's another really easy one. So, yeah, um, unfortunately it's still, I mean, it's easy, but I still need to suffer through just a few, like, dimension shifts, because, I mean, I don't, I don't know why I'm complaining, because challenges in the vanilla game happen much later, so I have to go through even more resets. But here I should be able to complete the challenge. Why can't I beat the challenge? Oh, here it is. I don't know. I I, th I thought that it would come earlier, but whatever. There is the challenge completion. I get an achievement. It's this one. Complete two challenges. It has no reward, so it doesn't really matter all that much. And I get a third dimension auto buyer. Maybe I should start actually, like, doing all the, like, enabling these auto buyers because they could really help. If I especially if I get all the challenges. So. Here is the fourth dimension auto buyer challenge. It's again one of the easiest. It's probably it's even easier than challenge three actually. So yeah, you can just see how how quick this is. It's probably gonna only take about thirty seconds to beat. Here's a fourth dimension shift, and here is an antimatter galaxy. And then now it should be even easier with the antimatter galaxy. And then all I really need is, is like ten eighth dimensions. Maybe, maybe I need a few time dimension shifts, and that's sort of what I'm missing. Like, I could do one more time dimension. Yeah, there it is. There's the Galactic Sacrifice. So there's a fourth dimension. All of our challenge complete. Let's see, another one, another easy one's the seventh dimension, all of our challenge. This one may be even easier than a normal run, because there will, there actually is, like, a per ten dimension multiplier. Actually, maybe there's not a per ten dimension multiplier, but anyway, yeah, it's actually super easy. I could even like, it feels like I'm gonna use, I could use this as an exploit to just get more stuff by going to challenge seven instead of doing a normal run because 
at the very at the very least this is just as easy as a normal run but it could be even easier especially i'm actually gonna go for two galaxies just to see if it is any easier than a normal run because if it is easier that would give me good info on how to increase my um galaxy point gain so let's see i have six dimension boost this allows another 10 dimension boost i'm not sure if this is actually any easier than a normal run it's either equal to a normal run or it's i would say maybe slightly maybe it's slightly easier but at least for antimatter but for galaxy points it's not giving me all that much more but yeah there there it is challenge complete i should probably do some other easy ones so yeah now they're a little bit harder i think the next one that i'm going to go for is actually the automated galaxy challenge is extremely easy it's literally just a normal run because this nor it says um there's normal matter which rises if increased if it exceeds your antimatter it'll act as a dimension boost without the bonus except this normal matter increases so slowly that it it's not it's a non-issue um i don't know why the i don't know why m is not working but i don't know why m is not working that, that's weird I, I have to actually click m instead of just holding m and i have to do this every reset that's actually really annoying it's also not, not able to get any dimension shifts what? This challenge is bugged. This is a bugged challenge. Um, maybe if I just don't use M, I can beat it. But yeah, this challenge is bugged. Unfortunately. That's really weird. That That's definitely unintentional. Because that was not part of the challenge. Um, also, I got something. Probably a secret achievement. It's one of the ones, it's one of the fifth row ones that was just added in the new update. Type 1776 on your keyboard for revolution when. Okay, then. I wasn't even meaning to type 1776. I was probably just typed that because I was spamming 1 through 8 just so I could try to beat this challenge. I That's interesting. So, yeah, the I will say New Game Plus 3.1 has been released as of this recording. So, yeah, that's... Um, yeah, that's a that's a thing. Um, you can see it, you can see more about that update in um, New Game Plus or in, in New Game Plus 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 episode one ninety five. I actually didn't even go over the secret achievements though. So yeah, or yeah, you can just if you want to see what the secret achievements are about, you can just uh, do your own. Or just just go on the website and then just load up New Game Plus Plus Plus. But that, that's interesting. Did not know there'd be a secret achievement for that. Uh, not gonna press M because if I do press M, it'll be impossible to. I'll lose all my progress in the challenge. But challenge complete. That was far more annoying than I thought it was gonna be. So yeah, let's see what um, the next ones are. I think challenge two. Challenge two is like medium. So it's yeah. I, I, I'm gonna go for it. It's actually quite a bit harder. Maybe I shouldn't go for challenge two. Or maybe I just shouldn't have pressed M there. But it's like whenever you buy something, the production of all dimensions is like significantly decreased. And with all these auto buyers, it's not helping. So maybe I'll just do this challenge later because I I, re I really don't think this is a good challenge for this. So yeah, I'll, I'll actually I'll exit the challenge. Maybe challenge five is a little easier. Take speed upgrades and. Takes me to boost are weaker, but galaxies make them stronger. So I'm not exactly sure how much of a nerf this is actually gonna be in practice. I feel like it's gonna be a decent bit of a nerf, but it's not gonna be as bad as challenge two. So yeah, I'm actually noticing this is quite a bit slower. Maybe it's again, not optimal to actually just to be holding M down. Maybe it is, maybe I'll just do I, I'll still hold M. I think that's still the, the optimal strategy here. It's just quite it's just quite a bit slower than a normal run. So anyway, I just need a couple more dimension shifts to beat the challenge. Maybe I'll just go over some of the other challenges. Um, challenge six is each normal dimension costs a 
Dimension 2 tiers before it, excluding first and second dimension, with modified prices. That's one of the harder ones. Um, so I may not go for that one. And then Challenge 9 is the same as New Game Minus, Minus, Minus. In the vanilla game, Challenge 9 is, like, really hard, but um, they they changed the whole thing here, and it's not very hard. It's, it says you can't get tick speed boosts and antimatter galaxies are 25% weaker. Actually, that's super easy because I only get one galaxy and the galaxies are super weak anyway. And I don't even do tick speed boosts for these challenge runs. So I'm definitely going to try challenge nine. That That's a super easy challenge. And here's the galaxy. It is um, auto buying galaxies now. So yay. I'll go over some other challenges. Challenge 8 is Dimension Boost and Galaxies have no effect. Sacrifice will act similarly to a Dimension Boost, but its effect is immensely more powerful. And this one may be a really, it's really weird, because it's like really easy in the vanilla game, pretty easy in New Game Minus Minus, but then it was actually quite hard in Minus Minus Minus. So I'm not really sure how it's going to go in Minus 4. I think it'll be roughly similar to like this challenge, I still need to get like a galaxy because um, that's what I need to galactic sacrifice, but it I don't think it's actually too bad. I'm, I'm definitely going to try and challenge 9 before that because challenge 9 is super easy. And then there's challenge 10, which is there are only 6 dimensions with dimension boost, tick speed boost, and antimatter galaxy costs modified. This is one of the hardest challenges in new game minus minus and minus minus minus, but this may be different in minus four where I only need galactic sacrifice. So yeah, just one one more run. All I need to do is get this time dimension shift and boom, challenge complete. So challenge nine is I'm, I'm definitely gonna do that. It's one of the easiest ones. It's just I can't get Tixie boosts. That's literally it. It's just like New Game minus minus it it's just disables some of the new game minus 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 features. That's literally all it does. And yeah, tick speed boosts are useless unless I'm going on, like, longer runs here. So, yeah, this is a super easy challenge. I'm I'm surprised how easy this is, but maybe, maybe it's not so surprising. It's just, it contrasts so much with Challenge 9 in the vanilla game. And I even get this achievement, complete the tick speed auto buyer challenge in three minutes or less. And the, the reward is the multiplier per ten dimensions is boosted based on the best time of your tick speed auto buyer challenge. That means I may have actually have a multiplier per 10 dimensions. Let's see. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. It just says 1.0. But maybe it does something minor. And anyway, I feel like I'm going to go into... I, I really want to see how challenge 6, 8, and 10 are going to be. Like, especially 8. This one, I don't think is going to be too hard. Because the effective dimension boost is already pretty weak to begin with. So... Yeah, I don't think I'm, I'm going to actually ever get any dimensional sacrifices. It's just so weird since I only need galactic sacrifice instead of the usual um, the one in, in the vanilla game. Um, new game minus. New game minus minus. New game mi and new game minus minus minus. For whatever reason, I can't get a galaxy here, which is weird. That's really weird. Maybe I... I can still um, galactic sacrifice by getting enough like time dimension shifts, and maybe that'll that'll do something here, hopefully, and then maybe a few dimensional sacrifices because the dimensional sacrifices actually um, are heavily buffed. Oh, I just lost all my dimension shifts. Great. I don't, don't even love it when that happens. I didn't know I was didn't know I was gonna lose them like that, but whatever. Um, weird. I don't know why I can't galaxy. I can't get a galaxy. I'm not sure if that's a bug because this challenge never says I can never get a galaxy. It says they have no effect, but it never prohibits me from actually getting a galaxy. So I'm not sure what to do. Maybe I'll just dimensional sacrifice like you're supposed to do in the vanilla game. But I can't... I, I think I need a galaxy. I'm, I'm up to 38th dimensions. And I still can't galactic sacrifice. What is this? What am I supposed to do? And I even got an achievement. The gods are pleased, which is get over 600 times dimension sacrifice in total. Okay, 
I thought that had to do something with beating the 8th Dimension Auto Fire Challenge. But right now, this challenge is impossible because I cannot get a galaxy. For some reason. So yeah, this challenge is impossible. Which is actually a big shame. Because this automate it, this is one of the most useful auto buyers of all. Because I'm going to need to automate 8th Dimensions if I want to automate Dimension Boosts, Galaxies, or Time Dimension Shifts, or Tick Speed Boosts. So... Yeah, um, let's see if this one's possible. Challenge 10. There are only six dimensions. And, yeah, let's let's see what this is going to be like. Because I'm really not sure. I need 36 dimensions to get one galaxy, which is probably what I need to um, galactic sacrifice. So, I'm not exactly sure how hard this is. This doesn't look too hard, because I can get... Um, I can already get tw um, 26 dimensions. I can probably also time dimension shift here. And... All I need is E21 antimatter. I'm only a few orders of magnitude away from that. And then I can get a galaxy. And then I'm guessing once I get a galaxy, I'll pretty easily be able to galactic sacrifice. So, so it's a little bit harder than, than some of the others, but it's actually not too bad. So, yeah. First dimension shift, second, third, and here's the galactic sacrifice. So that was actually rather easy and I think this is a good point to end the episode the um, these some of these challenges are new and the others are I think really hard or yeah so hope you enjoyed peace out